this is not really what I wanted to do here. If I just get over here, it looks like a gap. See? I want to do what those guys are doing. Over here. Dead zone. That guy looked like he's awake. You see people looking down, looking around, looking at their phone. Try not to get in front of them. Say hi to them. Even though I'm trapped over here. Of course, you know, most people would probably just drive over the paint and not say fuck it. I'm just trying to be a good example. And there is a dashed area coming up, but it's, like, it's kind of a ways up, so I don't know if I, I'm going to be able to hold out. <laughs> I'm not sure how long my patience can manage its a speed. I may just have to swallow my pride and do like what that guy just did. He just did exactly what I'm talking about. He's not supposed to do that. Whenever you're in tight uh, traffic like this, always keep cover your hor uh, horn. Always keep your your finger, your whatever, your thumb in my case, on the horn. Because people moving slowly, they kind of start to like move over. They they're trying to go around you. They're trying to get in front of you, whatever. Then maybe they're coming up too fast behind you, and you can see that they're looking down. You know, you can look in your own mirror and see their face looking down, like they're looking at the phone, probably. Your horn, or they just seem like they're coming up too fast. You know, that happened to me once. Now the horn can be heard all around, and so everybody stops for a second and looks around. That's what you want. And that extra little second or two can be the the whole difference between no problems, getting home without a story, and uh, getting home with a story, eventually. See, cover your horn. I hope you saw that. Little blue Fiat. Not paying attention. But I'm so far over to the left. The only way you're going to see me is if you actually turn your head and look. I was probably in her blind spot. Um, which is not really my fault. It's, she's still <laughs> You're still obligated to look and be responsible for your machine. Whether it's a car or a bike. Or whatever. Now I don't like passing here because, see, people move out because they're allowed to and also people can move in so I don't I'm not crazy about this uh, open space where it's uh, there's someone behind me doing the same thing moving out another guy moving out see that's why I don't want to pass on this dashed line it's like the exit lane and then you're right in front of everybody this truck wants to do it looks like no he's not I think he's signaling to me now pump people can still jump out but it's a le it seems less likely And when things start piling up like that, don't just race by them. Because what will happen is until they're fully committed to stopping, they, they're still thinking about, can I pop out and, uh, you know, jump into that moving lane that's next to me? Don't ride next to them because they just might not. They probably, even if they see you, in two seconds they forget all about you and they realize, oh, this is space, and they slam into you. Just bam. 
push you into the other lane. Uh, or down on the ground. These are things to watch for. Besides enjoying the beautiful scenery. Look at how green everything is because we had so much rain. All the plants are like, oh my gosh, water. <laughs> I haven't seen that in years. All sprouting everywhere. It's amazing to see so much green on the mountains. It looks, doesn't even look like, you know, what I'm used to anymore. I'm used to everything being brown. It's open because people are getting in and on and off for an exit coming up. So it's kind of encouraging them to just do it now, one way or the other. So now if I'm jetting down here, I'm just begging for somebody who's already thinking about pulling out to hit me. So it's, it's better not to. Even though they can pull out at any time, it seems like they're more likely to pull out and definitely more likely to pull in at that, that, that dashed area. So that's the part where you really don't want to be passing. Or, or, or if you're going to do it, you better be at full alert and re ready with your horn and ready and have a plan of where to go in case any of these guys pull in front of you or run into you and try to, try to hit come from the side. You have to have a place to go. If this guy pulls out when I'm right next to him and there's a car there, where am I supposed to go? Now, even though that's kind of unlikely because the... Um, you know, the ones, nor, they normally don't just slam into the side of another car, although I have seen it. I mean, it's, uh, the worst thing is when there's a car on one side, you're next to the car, and on the other side of you is an open spot that that car might want to go into. That's when they're think they could be thinking about doing it. And you're basically in the way. But they never look at you, because they're only looking at the spot. Look, there's a space, and I go for it. They don't think, is, is it safe? Is there anybody else coming? Is there a motorcycle coming? Is there a pedestrian on the corner? They don't think of that. They just think, there's where I want to go. Let me get out of this traffic. And they, they bolt. And sometimes they just run right into you. I didn't see you. This sorry mate, I didn't see you bullshit. You know why they didn't see you? Because they're not looking. <laughs> they're looking out for themselves. They're looking for space for themselves. They're not looking for anybody else, whether it's safe or not. Everybody, a lot of people ride motorcycles every day, never get hit. And a lot of people drive cars every day, never seem to manage to hit a motorcycle or another car. Why? Well, because they're looking. They know how to drive. People run into other people and say, I'm sorry, I didn't even see you. Well, that means you weren't looking. That means you don't know what you're doing. See, dash line, pulling out. And with the traffic on this side, there'll be dash line, someone might be trying to pull in. Now there's supposed to be at least two people in the car, or it's, it's what they call a high occupancy vehicle, HOV. And in the case of a motorcycle though, because there's only one seat, that's it, it's maxed out. So you get to be here. That's kind of the loophole that we get. Accident myself. The motherfucker! Don't get up on me like that!